Okay, now one of you is going to be examiner, an examiner, and one of you is going to be a candidate, okay? Now remember here, I want you to read the question as if you're not reading, but you're speaking, okay? And you need to try to be as fluent as possible so that we can avoid any kind of filler like uh, um, this kind of thing. So you just have to, you know, develop a flow of speech when you're responding um, to the question uh, being asked by the examiner or when the examiner as is asking question uh, to candidates, which are printed here on the sheet I'm sharing with you now on my screen, okay? So um, I can give you maybe one or two minutes to read the questions very quickly, and then we'll start this interview process. So in firstly, in, in you know, in the first phase, you will ask the same questions and you answer the same questions as they're printed here. In the second phase, you need to develop your own answers and be careful that you need to maintain fluency. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's do it now. So, yeah. Now, can I give you approximately between three or maybe four or maximum five minutes to read the questions uh, from examiner and the, resp the responses from the candidate? Now, remember the main purpose, remember the main purpose of the speaking test is to maintain fluency. Okay, yes. so our objective is to go through with the examiner's questions, not the response of candidate. No, both. Both, okay. So in this, in this part, uh, so we have, so either one of us will become examiner and the other person will become the candidate. Yes. That's or, right. we, or we just have to read all, all, all this. Way. Now first, in the first phase, you will be reading all the questions and the answers silently. And the second phase, one of you will be acting as an examiner and the other one will be acting as a candidate.
Okay, thank you. Now, Nabisa Prasad, I would like you to please ask me the first question um, from examiner, and I will respond to the question that will be not fluent. I just want to give you impression, uh, difference between being fluent, um, achieving less than seven band, perhaps 6.5 or six, or achieving seven band or above if you're fluent. So I ha I'll have two different kind of responses. And the first response, I will not be maintaining fluency. And the second response, I'll try to maintain fluency in English. Okay? Okay. So, Nabi Zafrazab, can you so, ask me the first question, please? Okay. We've been talking about a book you enjoyed, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Uh, well, um, some people say that uh, uh, that every one of us um, has a good book inside us. Uh, but I think uh, there are many uh, various reasons why people write. Um, uh, perhaps uh, they have a political message. Uh, but I think uh, that the that, that main thing uh, is that you feel uh, that you have a story to tell. Uh, perhaps you can't write it. Can you see that there were so many uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, okay? Right, yeah. Farouk, can you ask me the same question again? Uh, we have been talking about a book you enjoyed and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Well, some people say that every one of us has a good book inside us, but I think there are many various reasons why people write. Perhaps they have a political message, but I think that the main thing is that you just feel that you have a story to tell. Perhaps you can't write it. Now, do you see a difference between the first response and the second response? Yeah. Okay, I tried to avoid any kind of a. Uh, if I really want to achieve a seven band or a beyond, okay? Now let me ask you the same question again from both of you. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. So we've been talking about a book that you enjoyed and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all, why people decide to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Well, some people say that every one of us has a good book inside us, but I think there are many various reasons why people write. Perhaps they have a political message, but I think that the main thing is that you, you just feel that you have a story to tell. Perhaps you cannot write it. Okay. They see that there was nothing like, uh, an, um, an, or like that. Okay. Very good. And now, uh, for you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. We've been talking about a book that you enjoyed and I'd like to discuss with you one or two general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Well, some people say that every one of us has a good book inside us. But I think there are many various reasons why people write. Perhaps they have a political message, but I think that the main thing is that you just feel that you have a story to tell. Perhaps you can't write it. Okay, wonderful. So now, uh, Nabisa Prasab, you are the examiner and for you are a candidate. Can we start it right from the beginning? Yes. Right from the beginning, yes. Nabi Zafar, you, Saab, you are examiner. Okay, so I need to ask this uh, question, the examiner All question. the questions, yes. Okay. Well, we have been taking about talking about a book you enjoyed, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, 
why people decide to write a book what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels well some people say that every one of us has a good book inside us but i think there are many various reasons why people write perhaps they have a political message but i think the main things is that you you just feel that you have a story to tell perhaps you can't write it and some people have an ambition to write don't they exactly what personal qualities do you think a writer need to have well i think the ability to be self disciplined and to work alone to be able to understand people to get into the minds and heart of the other people do you think it's something that many people could do uh no i don't think so otherwise we would all write that book could you ever write a novel i have had to go but it was a teenage experiment and it's been a long gathering dust yes what about newspapers do you think newspapers are a good source of information providing you remain aware of the political incline inclination of any particular newspaper yes i think it's a good way of learning about the news as it were yes what other information do we get from newspaper uh, there's another line of view as well uh oh. which type of newspapers do you think is best i think certainly in england the uh, the broadsheet newspaper are better than the tabloid i think you have to be aware again that may have their own agenda but i think the newspaper that's not committed to any other particular political cause right you need a lot of time to read the newspaper don't you how often do you read a newspaper uh i try to read the paper every day i don't always read paper during the week but but the paper i love to buy is on sunday because so much comes with it a great culture section you can read about the arts and catch up on all the things that have been doing on during the week the news review section the sports section money section i really enjoy the editorial on a sunday do you think newspaper should contain illustrations a lot of papers have cartoons in them and photographs is that helpful yes i think so i think certainly they can be a sort of of a powerful way to convey a story to draw your attention to something photographs possibly more than illustration although i do really enjoy cartoons right thank you very much that's the end of the speaking test that's right okay now that was really good but the main thing that i want to focus here is again the fluency um how do you improve your fluency like you said you need a lot of time to read the newspaper now uh, that means that you were being careful uh, you know pronouncing each word separately and very carefully isn't it it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 rather than 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay like you okay. need a lot of time to read the newspaper you need a lot of time to read a newspaper rather than you need a lot of time to read the newspaper now how would you say if you try to be a bit more fluent you need a lot of time to read the newspaper don't you how often do you read a newspaper so nabi safar sab can you repeat the same question uh where it is second page uh second question examiner you need a lot of time to read the newspaper don't you okay How do you read a newspaper you need a lot of time to read the newspaper don't you how often do you read a newspaper okay now wait how often do you read a newspaper can you be, can you be can you try to be a bit more fluent how often do you read a newspaper okay you need a lot of time to read the newspaper don't you How often do you read a newspaper? 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 Okay, now first page question number uh, this is 1 2 3. Third question. 
what personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have now try to be a bit fluent what personal qualities qualities do you think a writer needs to have what personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have and say it again please what personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have can you try to be a bit more fluent with the same question what personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have can you try to be a bit more fluent with the same question <laughs> What personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have? Okay, can you try it one more time? What personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have? Okay, now for of you, the same the answer to the same questions. Can you read the answer, please? Well, I think the ability to be self-disciplined and to work alone, to be able to understand people, to get into the minds and hearts of the of the other people. So that's why you you were trying to be fluent. Now next, Nabeez Prasad, you. Do you think it's something that many people could do? Do you think it's something that many people could do? Can you try to be a bit fluent with this question? Do you think it's something that many people could do? Yes, that's right. Can you do that again, please? Do you think it's something that many people could do? Okay. Now, there's another question. Yes. What about newspapers? Do you think newspapers are a good source of information. Can you try to be a bit fluent with this question? Yes, what about newspapers? Do you think newspapers are a good source of information? Oh, how wonderful. You sound like a native speaker now. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Okay, now Nabi uh, Zafar the question, num the first question examiner. We've been talking about a book that Oh, sorry, we've been talking about a book you've enjoyed reading, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all why people decide to read, to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Um, can you try to be a bit fluent with this question, please? We've been talking about a book you enjoyed, and I'd like to discuss with you one of one or two general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels so that was a little slower okay what sort okay. of reasons do you think people have for writing novels what sort of reasons do you think people have uh, let me uh, come again <laughs> no. what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels can you try it again what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Can you try it again? What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Can you do it one more time, please? What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Yes, Farooq, can you give the answer? Well, some people say that every one of us has a good book inside us, but I think there are many various reasons why people write. Perhaps they have a political message, but I think that the main thing is, is that you just feel that you have a story to tell. Perhaps you can't write it. Okay, so this time we're going to have a real speaking test. Same questions, but different answers. And all I would like you to do is to try to maintain fluency. Okay? Okay. And please try to avoid any kind of uh, a long, uh, okay? That sounds so dreadful to me. And even to the examiner. Okay. Are we ready? Ready. So we, we you are. After differently absolutely you need to answer different uh, you need to answer different answers this time the questions remain the same okay so Farooq you are examiner and let me say you are I candidate. okay okay yeah. okay let's, let's go let's do it we have been talking about a book you enjoyed and I like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Well, there are a number of reasons why people do write the books. One of the things is they want to share their ideas. They wanted to share their own learnings. So these things that can help upcoming generations to follow and to guide them accordingly. Excellent. I like it. You did a wonderful job. Thank yeah, you. that was good. Yeah, but it should not be one of the things. It should be one of the things I've been telling you okay. and I've been repeating and been okay. repeating and been repeating. It should be one of the things. Okay. Plural. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. And some people have ambition to write, don't they? Exactly. Number of people have their ambitions to write. What personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have? Well, as far as qualities are concerned, a person should have a self-disciplined self -disciplined ideas and a lot of uh, writing skills to communicate his experiences. Do you think it's something that many people could do? Of course not. It's a unique, uh, a unique skill that everybody cannot have. Could you ever write, ever write a novel? Oh, uh, I tried it a couple of years ago, but I think it was uh, not a very good experience for me because I, 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 it's not my cup of tea. Okay. And okay, uh, what about newspapers? Do you think newspapers are a good source of information? Well, yes, newspapers are a good source, provided you must know their inclination, because at times they are working towards a certain agenda. But overall, yes, there are. this is a good source of information. Yes. What other information do we get from a newspapers? I mean, which type of newspaper do you think it's best? I believe a newspaper which can have a neutral opinion. These days, a lot of a lot of agenda, a lot of in, uh, inclination is observed because of their you know uh, linkages and potentials, and obviously for some financial revenues and and from the advertisement viewpoint. Right, you need a lot of time to read the newspaper, don't you? How often do you read a newspaper? Well, yes, it requires some time, but you know these days we we normally focus on that specific area of interest. For example, the current affairs, it could be the sports, it could be the movie sections like that. So it might not take much of the time if you are specific. Do you think newspapers should contain illustrations? A lot of papers have their cartoons in them and photographs. Is that helpful? Yes, exactly. Because illustrations are the most important thing. It attracts you and especially when your audience is because your audience is more sort of youth uh, along with the elderly people so it attracts it helps it really gives, gives a lot of uh, help to the people right thank you very much that's the end of the speaking test okay thank you and uh, i think Mr. Versab, you seem to have done a wonderful job now and i think if you keep up the same pace in the future I can say that yes, your span will, your band score will probably move up to seven bands. That was a wonderful job. Yeah. And you sounded more like a native speaker, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, me too. Yeah, that's right. Way. Yeah. Okay, now Farouk, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, but the problem is I cannot see your face. I can only see your eyes and hair. That's it. Uh, okay, yeah. Now? Okay, now that's wonderful, really. So now, Nabisa, you are the examiner, and um, for the, you, are, you are a candidate. Okay, so let's start. And I'm hoping okay. that uh, for you can follow up the same pace. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Wish you all the best luck. Yep. Yeah. We've been talking about a book you enjoyed, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two general questions related to this. Let's consider. First of all, why people decide to write a book? What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Well, uh, every people, uh, let me start again. <laughs> so, well, some people have uh, a lot of things to say, a lot of, uh, a lot of things to, to portray because of their experiences in their life, that what they have witnessed in their lives, what they have explored. So, so people have a lot of reasons to, uh, to, 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 to say or to write a book about themselves or about the experiences that they had. So yes. And some people have an ambition to write, don't they? Yes, exactly. They do have because uh, some, some of the people are very good in it and they take this as a professionalism. Professional. What personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have? First, uh, a very, he should be very disciplined. Secondly, he should he should know how to observe the people, how to observe their mindset, how to observe that how they live, 
so he should be a good observer do you think it's something that many people could do no i don't i don't think think that way because it takes a lot of uh, a lot of mind work a lot of patience in that because you have to uh, deep deep down inside your mind and extract whatever the feelings you can have and write it down in a paper so it takes a lot of uh, the determination and focus could you ever write a novel i tried to but i never got a success in that because as i said you earlier that it takes a lot of lot of determination and focus which which not everyone have it so that's why yes what about newspapers do you think newspapers are a good source of information well if the newspaper is not that much biased it means that it has no political uh, push or influence by any political party so newspaper can be a very uh, very authentic source of information because they have they have large body to investigate about the story and to publish it yes what about other information do you, do we get from newspaper which type of newspapers do you think is best well i think there there are so many uh, newspaper which are best at it first is uh, broadsheet newspapers and sub tabloids so i think uh, there are but they have their own agenda because they don't focus on the any general specific uh, stories they have they focus on the any specific uh, problems or any specific event right you need a lot of time to read the newspapers don't you how often do you read a newspaper well uh, as far as far as my work nature i don't have much time to newspaper a lot especially in the big days but yes i do have time in weekends because uh, in weekends i don't usually work and in newspaper they have so many interesting things to show uh, so many good articles to read and also uh, in weekends we have all the overview what happened during the weekdays and which can which can help me to catch me up that what happened during the weekdays do you think newspapers should contain illustrations a lot of papers have cartoons in them and photographs is that helpful yes i think because uh, nowadays everyone believes and uh, gets attracted towards the photograph or any illustrations in order to make them understand that what exactly has happened or what exactly uh, the the writer is trying to say or the author is trying to say in, in in his article so yes it it is very crucial yeah right thank you very much that's the end of the speaking test so farooq thank you so much that was really good you've done a wonderful job and it could even have been even better provided if you provided you could have used different connecting words like however um nonetheless nevertheless although even though despite the fact that so i see that there, there was a limitation of linking word and the use and the choice of linking words in your speaking so this time you were able to maintain fluency but this part also needs to be um be be be, be proved okay nabir sir sir can you read uh, one two three can you please read the third question examiner what person quality is you think a writer needs to have okay now remember uh, nabi safar sam and even for that whenever we ask question so at the end of the question the intonation or the sound always falls it shouldn't go up because you're asking a question so when you say what person qualities do you think a writer needs to have it gives me an impression that your voice is going up but it should go down so the right question should be in terms of intonation and what should fall it should be what personal qualities do you think a, a, a writer needs to have so it should go down as you, as you say um, um you know a uh, personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have you're taking your voice up and remember this is a mistake your voice must not go up as you ask a question it's a mistake your voice should fall the intonation should go down i mean it's, it's all about intonation the voice okay now if you look at the next question do you think it's something that many uh, that many people could do could do 
Now see that when you take a do, your voice is going up. Now, because it's a question, it should fall. So do you think it's something that many people could do? Okay. So your voice has to fall. Now, the next one, could you ever write a novel? Could you ever write a novel? You see that your voice is going up and that's a mistake because it's a question. So your voice should fall. So the right question, so the right sound should be like this. Could you ever write a novel? Could you ever write a novel? So the, the voice falls at the end of the question because it's a question. Now let's look at the next one. Do you think newspapers are a good source of information? Information, now it's going up. Now because the question, it should come down. So do you think newspapers are a good source of information? Right? Which type of newspaper do you think is best? See your voice is going up. It should be down. Which type of newspaper do you think is best? Is best. Okay. So, can you please read the questions one more time? First of all, for uh, Nabil's of you, and then for you, the first question. Okay. Right from the first one. Yep, that's right. We have been talking about a book. We have been talking about a book you enjoyed, and I like to discuss with you one or two general questions related to this. Let's Good. consider, first of all, why people decide to write a book. Good. What sort of reasons do you think people have to write novels? Novels. So it has to fall. What sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Can you please do what it? Sort of, okay. What sort of reasons do you think people write? Oh, sorry. Uh, what sort of reasons do you think people have for writing novels? Yeah, that's excellent. Now imagine your question before where you say, when you said, what sort of reason do you think people have for writing novels? Now, if you imagine the question that you asked before where the internet, where, where the sound went up and now you will see a huge difference, don't you? Yeah. And when I say don't you, and when I say don't you, so the, 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 the you can see when I say don't you, the voice goes down. I never said don't you because then the meaning is different, perhaps. Okay. okay, can you try the next question, please? And some people have an ambition to write, don't they? Yeah, that's right, okay, wonderful. Can you read the second question, please? And some people have an ambition to write, don't they? No, I want to read the next question. What personal qualities? Next. What personal qualities do you think a writer needs to have? Yeah, a writer needs to have. Okay, so it goes down. Um, can you read the, the, the next question, please? Do you think it's something that many people could do? Could do, no, could do. No, okay. could do, but when it says it could do, it's going up and it has to okay. fall, yes. Okay, uh, let me come again. Do you think it's something that many people could do? Absolutely, that's fine. What about the next question? Could you ever write a novel? Yes. Could you ever write a novel? So it has to go down. And imagine when you say, could you ever write a novel? See the difference? Okay. Yeah. And the next? Yes. What about newspaper? Good. Do you think, well, do you think newspapers are a good source of information? Very good. I like it. Yes. Now you're doing a good job. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then the next one? Yes, what about information, sorry. Yes, what other information do you, do we get from newspapers? Newspapers, so it comes down, newspapers, okay. And then the next one? Which type of newspaper do you think is best? Very good. For what about you, please? Okay, uh, should I read the uh, first question of, as examiner? Uh, yeah, that's right, yes. Okay, we have been talking about a book you enjoy. And I like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Uh, let's consider first of all why people decide to write a book. What sort of reasons do you think people have writing novels? What about next question? Question number two. And some, and some people have an ambition to write, don't they? Don't they? Should be yeah. don't they? No, I mean like an I should fall, don't they? Don't um, they should fall down. Uh, for can you read the next question? What personal qualities do you think a writer's need needs to have? Needs to have. So she's going up. 
needs to have is going up the other should go down so what class of qualities do you think a writer needs to have okay do you think it's important that many people could do sorry do you think it, do you think it's something that many people could do could do try to bring it down could do do you think it's something that many people could do just bring it down do you think it's something that many people could do yep uh, next question could you ever write a novel yeah that's better could you ever write a novel okay next yes what about the newspapers do you think newspapers are a good source of information very good next yes what other what other information do we get from the newspaper very i good. mean mm -hmm. which type of newspaper do you think is best yep that's right so it's falling down again okay and if you look at the last question examiner which is already circled should i say is it helpful or should i say is it helpful okay do you think newspapers should contain illustrations a lot of a lot of papers have a cartoons in them and photographs is that helpful okay wonderful okay so remember that your speaking test is not just speaking test where you can maintain fluency and show it and demonstrate it but it's also about your pronunciation and your sentence stress and when i'm talking about your pronunciation i'm talking about your sentence stress i'm talking about the way you produce sentence um, and the way you have correct intonation uh, with words that should be stressed and the word that should not be all of this is not the part of the lesson today I just wanted to tell you that when and if it's a question uh, The sound has to fall. Okay, so thank you so very much all of you And I look forward to seeing you now because we are now going to terminate our lessons and we're gonna have a last lesson pretty soon so um, now you guys can keep on practicing, keep on working, keep on developing um, your skills and decide when exactly. We can schedule a day uh, or, or, you know, next week where we can have um, a full length um, a mock exam and see where exactly you stand. So thank you so much. Um, okay. I've shared with you a webinar already that you can download uh, from your email. It stays there in email for seven days and then the link expires. Uh, I need to say something. Uh, the, the essay which we have sent, mm -hmm. uh, can you have, can you give us uh, the feedback on it? Uh, the reason is that uh, the other three sections, we can judge by our scores at that very moment by speaking, by listening or by reading. But in writing, we can write lots of lots of uh, content mm -hmm. in it. But Okay, Farouk, I am sending you, I wanted to send you the evaluation and comments yeah, on writing yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't available. Um, you might receive the um, the uh, the feedback on your content anytime. I, I want to promise it today, but perhaps anytime this week. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. That would be nice. But because uh, writing is something uh, which I think yeah. that... I really, really and this is one of the reasons you see I would like you to please download a link uh, which is all about uh, which, which contains you know a video uh, for writing to us to webinar and that's really important and when you finished it then we can discuss it in our in our next lesson okay thank, thank you. you so much and look forward to seeing you and because this um, session was also being recorded so I would uh, share with you uh, this uh, session link anytime by the end of the day today. Thank you and have a good sure. day. Good afternoon. Bye-bye.